Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to solve equations with an unknown on both sides of the equal sign and I'm going to do two examples. Please get your notebooks and pencils ready because this is actually going to be tougher than anything we've tried doing before. So our first example, 2m plus 8 is equal to 8m take away 64. So what I mean when I say there's an unknown on both sides is that there is a variable, an unknown variable on both sides of the equal sign. Okay, so for that reason it's a little bit trickier than anything we've done before. So where to start? We want to start by removing, let's say, one of the terms that has the variable in it from one of the sides of the equation. So what I'm trying to say is we want to be left with a situation where there's an unknown just on one of the sides because then we can solve it in a very straightforward way. So we have an option. We can either take away 2m from both sides or we could take away 8m from both sides. If I show you what happens with this example, taking away 8m from both sides at first, then we'll see what, we, what happens. So take away 8m from both sides. 2m take away 8m is negative 6m. We run into a problem. We, get a ne we have negative 6m and then we have a new equation, negative 6m plus 8 equals negative 64. Where does that come from? It's come from up there. Okay, and we can solve that, there's no problem. We're just going to have to go through an extra step to make this positive and then work out the answer. Now that introduces its own problems because if you're not sure about how to how to change something from um, a positive term to a negative term and vice versa and to do that reliably then you could uh, make a mistake along the way. So instead my advice is to choose the variable that has the smaller coefficient so we've got 2m and we've got 8m. Look closely at the coefficient of m. We've got 2 compared to 8. If we choose the smaller of those two coefficients then we won't have so much of a problem when we start trying to eliminate it. The smaller of those two is of course this one so we're going to subtract 2m from both sides and that means on the left hand side we'll have no m's left and over here we'll have 6m left. And We can write a new equation now we've still got 8 on the left hand side and we've still got 6m and we've still got take away 64. Okay, so we now have a new equation 8 equals 6m take away 64 and we can save that, uh, solve that in the way that we've solved equations before so we would want to add 64 onto both sides and add 64 on over here and you get 72 and that's 0 so now you've got 72 equals 6m and you can very easily solve that and find that m equals 12. If you weren't comfortable with this step here, that's probably because you're used to seeing this part, the sort of answer, on the right hand side. And if that's the case, then feel free to just switch the sides round. So move this side over to the left. 6m take away 64 equals 8 and solve it in a way that you're comfortable solving it. Add 64, etc, etc. Okay, so remind, just remind yourself what we did. We looked for the smaller of the two coefficients and then we needed to subtract them from both sides. The reason why we needed to subtract them is because this is a positive 2m and so we do the opposite in order to take it away. Uh, in order to remove it we need to take it away. Had this been negative 2m we would have had to add 2m onto both sides. But it wasn't. So we did it correctly the first time. Second example. We used the, the suggestion that I made just a moment ago about finding the coefficient, the smaller coefficient. We can compare 12s with 6s. We see that this one is smaller, so we'll deal with that side first. Take away 6s from this side, and what you do to the left you do to the right and what you do to the right you do to the left so we take away 6s from this side as well 
you get left with 6s over there and we can write a new equation we've got 6s minus 5 equals 25 and we can solve that in the way that we've solved these kind of equations before add 5 to both sides and what you're left with is 6s equals 30 and then that solves to s equals 5 because you divide both sides by 6 okay so if I just write down one thing for you to remember it's to choose the side with the smallest or the smaller coefficient of the unknown that's the thing that's the main thing to remember okay thanks very much for watching bye